A few years ago, about 2019, I was riding the bus one night to get home. There was a guy on the bus that was a little disheveled and dirty, reeked of alcohol and generally acting weird. I was sitting in the back and he sat near me and tried to talk to me. I was polite at first. I ride the bus at night a lot, so a drunk homeless guy does not bother me and I have no problem making small talk with a stranger on the bus. Plus, I'm used to there being one or two sketchy people on the bus considering the route and the fact it's late at night. When he tried to get flirty, I politely told him I wasn't interested and put my headphones back in my ears and ignored him. He got a little frustrated and even said some vulgar things, but I couldn't really hear him, so it, it was fine. It's not my first rodeo being in that kind of situation, and while it is uncomfortable and there's nothing okay about that sort of behavior, I rarely feel threatened. Most of the time they're harmless, all bark and no bite. And I'm a big girl, as in tall and overweight, and I know basically self-defense and always have an exit strategy when in scenarios where I don't feel safe. When people get like that on the bus, I find most of the time ignoring them and acting like I'm not phased is enough for them to get bored and find something else to do. I only engage if they get in my face or start harassing other passengers, especially other women, kids, seniors, or anyone who appears vulnerable, because I will not tolerate that. And the bus drivers usually don't put up with that either if it escalates enough. Anyway, this random drunk homeless guy would have been just one of many random drunk homeless guys if it weren't for what happened next. So my stop is coming up. I'm looking forward to going home. I'm exhausted and so ready to go to bed. I pull the cord to indicate that I went off the next stop and he gets up and walks up to the front to talk to the driver and then laughs loudly. I don't think much of it, except I'm a little wary and thinking, please don't tell me we're getting off at the same stop. As the bus slows down, I'm waiting at the back door to be let off at my stop. Instead of opening the back door, he opens the front door and the guy gets off. I ask the driver to open the back door and I see him shake his head in the mirror and annoyed. I walk to the front to get off there, but he closes the door before I can get off and starts driving. Angry, I say, what the hell? That's my stop. And the driver replies, sorry, but I can't in good conscience let you off at the same stop as that guy. Either get off at the next one or wait until we get to a transit station and take a bus going the other way. Not getting it, I ask, why? Because of what he said to me, he says. I ask what he said and the driver just says, nothing I would like to repeat, ever. I am so sorry, but just trust me. The driver actually looked shaken and considering the tone of his voice and the look on his face, as frustrated and anxious as I was to get home, I trusted him and took his word for it. I caught another bus going the other way at the next terminal and watched the driver radio dispatch to get some peace officers and transit security to patrol the area near that stop. They were parked in the parking lot near the stop when I finally got off and I was extra paranoid and on high alert as I walked a couple of blocks to my apartment that night. Fortunately, without further incident. I never saw that guy again, and 
I am okay with that. To this day, I wonder what exactly he said to the driver. It bugs me not knowing, but at the same time, maybe it's better that way. Either way, the implications are enough to have freaked me out.